Yuri Gagarin, a name everyone knows, but what few know is how human, humble, and almost unbelievable his story is. He was born in a poor village, and during World War II, his family lived in a small dugout after the German army kicked them out of their home. Gagarin, then just a boy, saw the war firsthand, but even then, he showed unusual calmness and courage. At school, they didn't see him as a genius. He was an average student, but extremely disciplined. And then, the first twist. The instructor at the flying club noticed that Gagarin instinctively kept perfect balance, as if he was born for the air. That set him apart. His height of only 157 centimeters, which he sometimes considered a handicap, actually gave him an advantage. He fit perfectly in the small Soviet cabins, which made him one of the favorites for the space program. But the strangest part of the selection? During the psychological tests, Gagarin spent more than 24 hours in a completely silent, light-isolated chamber without any signs of stress. He was the only candidate who came out with a smile. Before the flight, he wrote a short, gentle message to his wife, Valentina. If something happens, raise the children. Then a few hours later, as they narrowed every inch around his body and closed the capsule, he quietly whispered, smile. His famous Pojahali, it wasn't really planned. It was a spontaneous outburst of nervousness, the impulse of a joyful, brave man who was afraid, but moved forward and what is almost never mentioned. After the historic flight, Gagarin was never allowed to go on space missions again. The state kept him as a symbol. He meant too much to risk his life. It bothered him more than anyone knew. Gagarin was a hero, a pioneer, but above all, a man who believed that the stars were attainable, even for ordinary people like him.